Anybody who listens to the radio show on Extra knows that Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we talk baseball with Mud. It's some kind of nice. Mud, what's your favorite all-star memory from the time you were a kid? Oh, gosh. First of all, good morning, bitches. Hey, uh, Mud. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what? You just took me back to my childhood, Dave, because there was nothing better than when the all-star team was formed at Mary Crest Little League in Joliet, <laughs> Illinois. <laughs> And we would just kick some serious tail. We had a good team one year. We got upset. That's a long story, though, in the uh, state tournament. But, I mean, it's just, you know, summers lasted forever. Um, you were with your buddies. Uh, you were playing a game you loved. You were on a good team. And it just it just takes me back to those fields and traveling a little bit out of town. Could have been 20 minutes in the car, but it felt like an hour. And so you're on the road. Like, you felt like a big leader because you're on a road trip. Uh, but no, it's great memories growing up, especially all time season or all star season when I was in the little league. It was great. As a player, how did you spend your your week? I mean, it, when you saw, knew the all star game was going on, did you watch the game like we do as fans and say, hey, "I wonder how my teammates are doing"? Or I'm sure you know guys on both the rosters. Or did you use that week to get away? At, when when I was a player, I remember watching the games because I wanted to see like Mark Davis and Benito uh, when I was at the Padres. And then the other years, like when I was uh, with the Giants in 84, Bob Brenly was an, an all-star, so I'd watch the game there to see what he did. Uh, and then, you know, in 80 year, when I was with the Braves, you know, Tom Glavin and um, uh, a couple other guys made the all-star team. So I, I, I would watch. But now, now it's kind of different. Uh, I mean, I'm really happy for Will Myers. I mean, I couldn't be more happy. He's such a good kid, and you know how I feel about Will. So um, I'll probably uh, – I, th I think I'm going to come down to the game and uh, see – you know, live and in person. Uh, have hopefully he gets an at bat and it's a big at bat. And uh, but usually I just kind of get away. I just kind of get away from the game and, and not really watch much of it. Just kind of recharge for the second half of the season. Mud, Dave, and I have been saying all morning that when you look at the five guys that made the All Star game from Southern California, Mike Trout makes that game. He's always expected to be there. Clayton Kershaw, even though he's injured, makes the game. Always expected to be there. Is Will Myers one of those guys? Can he join that group, Mud, in the next year, two years? Well, I think time will tell. Uh, does he have the ability? No question about it. Just look at the kid when he's done this first half. And, uh, you know, that's the amazing thing about this game, guys. You see these guys at the end of their careers, you know, 15, 18-time All-Stars. Yeah. Uh, you know, guys like Tony and uh, and, and other players like, uh, like Dave Winfield uh, that were just perennial All-Stars. Uh, you, you really can't. You really can't say he won't, and you really can't say he will, but does he have the potential? Uh, absolutely, and uh, that's something that these guys uh, are blessed with. It, it's just amazing to me to when they go out each and every year and do that, put up those type of numbers. And it's almost like, you know, during the off season they'll say, hey, uh, you know, where's next year's All-Star game? Well, it looks like I'll be going here, or it looks like I'll be going there because, you know, the, those guys are bringing the All-Star. So hopefully that uh, turns like that for Will.